Zali Fay has doubled up to help the Maori ferns run over the indigenous women at the NRL All Stars Festival in Rotorua. The New Zealanders prevailed 16 to 12 this afternoon, courtesy of tries to Jasmine Strange, Amy Turner, and Fay, who bookended the day with the first and last scores of the match. Relentless with the ball all afternoon. The Maori Ferns were worthy winners of the first All-Stars match played on Kiwi soil. However, they threatened to throw it away in the third quarter when Destiny Brill was sent to the sin bin for a spear tackle on Indigenous dress corps Rajada Taylor. Earlier, Taylor scored the try of the match, racing on to Kira Dibbs' delayed pass and spinning pass three to touch down and reduce the deficit. Playing against 12, in the 40th minute Kaylee Joseph broke two tackles and leapt between two further ferns to put the indigenous all-stars in front for the first time. Challenged, the Maori all-stars rose to the occasion, with 38-year-old Turner finishing a fifth tackle effort for a crowd-pleasing try to tie the scores at 12-12. Challenged, the Maori all-stars rose to the occasion with 38-year-old Turner finishing a fifth tackle effort for a crowd-pleasing try to tie the scores at 12-12. The Australians then blundered, hitting Brill with a high shot that gave their opponents a late penalty meters from the line. Rather than kick, the Maori Ferns ran the ball and were rewarded in the corner when the indefatigable Faye popped up to win it. Hard-hitting fullback Gail Broughton was named player of the match, and rewarded with a haka from her teammates before giving an emotional speech. No better feeling coming home and bringing this special moment home, she said. Can't put it into words, I'm absolutely buggered. What a game. The indigenous all-stars had their moments but were too ponderous with the ball early, when they struggled to make inroads in the final 20. It was a deadly game. The Maori really gave it to us and took it away at the end, Dib said. Faye's heroic spared Maori Ferns captain Zahara Tamar's blushes, the 5 8 missed her four conversions on a tough day. The clash began with traditional elements, the indigenous unity dance and, in response, a Maori haka. Broughton carried the Tino Rangator Otonga flag, which represents Mauridom and sometimes Maori sovereignty during the Hakka. The league, broadcaster and major sponsor also announced that $1 for every fan in attendance would be donated to Auckland flood relief in the wake of serious storms in the city.